Hello and welcome to Fishing with Joe. I'm your spokesmodel, Carrie. On today's show, the bass are ready. If you're into hardcore bass fishing with bite, then come and get it. Our show is so sweet you won't have regrets. Fishing with Joe, you have got to love it. Oh, gosh, got him, got him. Oh, that's a heavy fish. It's just a claws and a smallmouth bass's contract. That he will hit a topwater walking bait in the late summer, early fall. Oh, yeah, large mouth, small mouth, catching a little bit of everything. That is absolutely, positively, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the most exciting thing in the whole wide world. If you're looking for the best bait in the Buckeye State and an awesome selection of tackle, look no further. r and Bait has been serving up the best for over 100 years. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff will make sure you're outfitted right for your next fishing adventure. And when you go, tell them Joe sent you. Now, let's get back to the action. The 2015 Free Fishing with Joe Seminar is soon approaching. The crowds were so big last year, we decided to have a two-day event. Mark your calendars for Saturday and Sunday, March 7th and 8th. Expect guest speakers and huge discounts on tackle. Call R&R &R for show details. Now let's get back to the action. On today's episode of Fishing with Joe, we'll be walking the dog and bringing in the hogs. As you can see in the background, we are in beautiful downtown Columbus. You can see the skyscrapers in the background. We are on the Scioto River. We're passing under uh, some of the bridges that are in downtown Columbus, like Town Street. And we'll be heading north to Broad Street and Rich Street as well. We'll head north of downtown, and just north of downtown is one of the best smallmouth bass fisheries in central Ohio. We'll catch smallmouth, walking the dog with topwater plugs, and uh, we'll even get a hold of some largemouth too. We are going to have a great, great time. Now, if you are in the downtown Columbus area, you will deal with a lot of shallow water. So, the Wellcraft Signature Series Fishing with Joe boat, definitely what you need in order to get into those shallow areas so you can get to where the big ones are at. So we're going to have a great time today walking the dog and bringing in the hogs. Fishing with Joe, you have got to love it. Alright. It's a good looking point right up there. Alright, we've got a shallow area here. Kind of a point. Got to work this area. Any surface activity that you see. Oh gosh, got him, got him. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, nothing but drag. Oh my word, oh my word. Oh my word. That is a good fish. Oh, he just smashed it. Yes, he is a good fish. Come on now. Come on now. Smashed it. Oh, yeah, he did. Hey. <laughs> Gotta wave to the people in the cars on the bridges when you're fighting a good one. Oh, just don't lose a fish. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Wish I had my net. Oh. Oh, oh, Lord. Don't come off of there. Don't come off of there. Come here. Come here. Come here. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. He crushed it. Yeah, he did. Look at that. 
That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. You gotta love it. Just seeing them come up and smash it like that. That is absolutely, positively, beyond a shadow of a doubt, the most exciting thing in the whole wide world. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let's get a close up. Gotta love smallmouth fish. Gotta love smallmouth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, right back to work. Now, looking for surface activity. Anytime you see that activity, anytime you see activity, you're fishing in river conditions here in Ohio, throw that bait out to that spot. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Going back to work. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Straight in the boat. Oh yeah. They are crushing it this morning. Crushing it. Oh yeah. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. All of those sets of hooks. <laughs> We're in him. Yeah. Fat body, small mouth. Fat body fish. You gotta love that. You gotta love that at daylight in the morning. They're coming up. They're crushing. Ha ha ha. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about right there. Just walking the dog. And the, and, the, and the dog is a bait that I walk aggressively. I walk it very aggressively. When they're hitting it, they're gonna hit it. Get it in front of them. There we go. Going home. Thank you, thank you. That's all a little bit of activity out here. A little turtle. Got him! Mm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yes! All right. Mm. Come on, come on. Mm-hmm, oh no. Heading right for my trolling motor. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right. Large mouth this time, green bass. Green fish. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Booyah. All right, got to hold them tight <laughs> or else you're going to end up with those hooks in you. All right, let me talk to you about that area where that fish came from. If you look out behind me, right over here. If you look right over here, Mr. Cameraman. You will see just a little weed, a little patch of weed sticking up out there that's where that fish was at beautiful fish wash him off here beautiful beautiful fish when you're fishing in areas where there are weeds it's something that you have to look for anytime you got some isolated weeds that are setting out a little bit further from the other weeds oh yeah you better pay attention you better pay attention because that's where the fish will be setting at Another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, large mouth, small mouth, catching a little bit of everything. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Oh yeah. Have you ever wanted to go fishing with Joe? Well, here's your chance. Every year, Joe books a limited number of guided fishing trips. Yep. 
Oh. There we go. Get ready. Get ready. You can be on the boat when it all happens. Just visit www.fishingwithjoe.com for details. Now let's get back to the action. Do you know of the sizzling hot bass lake where the bike has cooled down? If so, then it's time to visit Spinner Bob's. Ooh. Mm, got him. Bob has exactly what it takes to drive those sloppy sow bass into a feeding frenzy. Tube jigs, worms, and spinners that are like cherry pie and sausage gravy to anything that swims. Ring the dinner bell. If you want to heat things up and make the water boil, type www.spinnerbobluers.com. Just don't forget to practice your hook set and tell them Emmy sent you. Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. He came up after it and tried to eat it. He most certainly did. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, got him. Alright. Not a big one. Alright. So I know what came up after my bait. Wasn't the biggest one. There we go. Just hooked a Joe, too. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, going back. All right, all right, there we go. Got him. Ooh, that is a Ooh, that is a nice oh oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, down and dirty. Down and dirty. That fish is pulling drag. This is a technique that I use. This is a technique that I use, folks. Take that boat toward the fish if you've got a good fish. All right, take that boat toward the fish. That is a good fish too. Oh yeah, he is. Oh Lord, please let me land him. Please let me land him. Oh my gosh, he just smoked that bait. He just smoked it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Come on now, keep the pressure on him. Keep the pressure on him. Oh yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. These fish are aggressively eating crawfish because that's what that fish spit up. Even though he hit a topwater bait, he was eating crawfish. So that's something to be aware of when you're fishing. Even though they're eating crawfish, still hit that topwater walking bait. 
It's just a clause in a smallmouth bass's contract that he will hit a topwater walking bait in the late summer, early fall. All right, we'll put that back. Give you a good close up. That is an awesome fish right there. That is an awesome fish. You have gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you very much. The fight bore him out. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Thank you for watching this episode of Fishing with Joe. Having this much fun isn't easy, but we don't mind. We work hard to make the best fishing show around, and we're glad you're watching. I'm Alexandria, and this is Fishing with Joe. You gotta love it.